Hi guys, this is Ehsan Ahmed. In our last video of introduction to machine learning series, we discussed some important libraries. Now I will show you how to import a data set in the Jupyter Notebook and some important attributes and methods you can use to analyze a data set in the Jupyter Notebook. Let's get started. Import data set in the Jupyter Notebook. First of all, you have Anacoda prompt. Download and come back and open Anacoda prompt. After downloading and opening prompt, you have to write here Jupyter Notebook. It will open Notebook server. It can take few seconds. Okay. It is the home desk for Jupyter Notebook. These are the folders and files. Open any one in which you want to make your project and work on it. Go to to the new and Python. Open Python three. It will save in the documents which I have selected. Rename it naming data set. Right. For checking this cell of Jupyter Notebook, I should write here print hello world to check everything is working fine. Okay, everything is good. No, we will discuss how to get a data set. For that, you should go and search Kaggle. It is a place for a data science project. You can get any data set from here. Once you sign up and come back, after signing up, write video game sales. It is a data set for video games, most selling games. can get any type of data set from this website simply download it will give you a zip file you have to unzip at that folder to save jupyter file you have to paste right next to the the file you created go to the download i have i use this method i use everything to find that folder easily gaming data set that's it open path all right i will unzip it here sorry we have no a new folder name of vgsales.csv in format of csv it is the folder it is a file folder uh, file we created by the jupyter notebook jupyter notebook gaming data set i created it first no it is right, right next to the our jupyter notebook move this cell and right here first of all import the pandas library I will write for that import pandas as pd and I rename it by pd instead of writing every time pandas I will do write only pd and then I will read my data set panda dot read 
CSV file in no right exactly name or same name of our created file like that's VG sales dot CSV same name should be V VG sales dot CSV store in DF and then run this cell it is our data set of gaming sales ranking of games most selling games first one is of these ports here it, it was created 2006 has 11 columns to checking the if you want to check how many columns rows data it has very good attributes i will know i will show you that all the method name of our variables df dot shape df dot shape of trading df dot shape run this cell now it is showing that it has 16598 rows and 11 columns in the name of games are 16598 and it has 11 attributes like name platform years and everything getting sales and global sales other sales and second important attribute is df dot describe it will show you all the basic statics about our data like count mean standard deviation minimum sales 25% and maximum sales basically used to determine our statistics of our data